Well, well, hello there, amazing people and nerds and whatnot. Oh, it's transparent when I move it. I don't like that. But anyway, that's not what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about installing our Arch Linux distribution. And you may be like, why? Why is this idiot talking about an installer and a Calamouse installer? I am going to show you how you can get... I listen to what I'm saying, almost the same control as if you're doing Arch Linux the Arch way with Calamaris by using the Endeavor OS way of installing Arch Linux. This is by far the most or the best way to install Arch Linux for the vast majority of people. This is it. What this does is it gives you control over things that matters for you, the end user. What the Endeavor OS people are doing here is that by using the Calamaris and let you choose the things that you will customize under the Arch install and, and auto install the most common things are the things that almost everyone is installing by default anyway, so Xorg and stuff like that. Take away a lot of hurdles for you and let you focus on what's important to you. So it's like if you look in here to the base system here, there's, there's system defaults. You have base de development, you have Linux, uh, Python, or sorry, Linux headers, Python, an extender base release, yeah, X system. You see, we have Xorg in here. I can actually go in there and take that away if I want to do that. Fonts, audio, hardware. Uh, if, I don't if I don't want the Endeavor OS's apps, I can take them away. LTS kernel. Do I want LTS kernel? Do I want XFCE? Do I want KDE? You know, with, with the or KDE Plasma, with what, what's come with it here? GNOME. Do I want GNOME? And with what extra uh, add-ons I want? The i3, Mate, Cinnamon, Bocce, Printer support is in here. I can just point and click. Uh, support for HP printers, accessibility. Over the years or over the months, let me put it that way, with Endeavor OS here, what they have to, or what, what it looks like they are trying to do is that they are giving you a way to install Linux with the same customizability as if you did it with the Arts way, but in a modern point and click way. So I want the KDE desktop. So let's just do this one here. Is there anything in here I don't want? Printer manager, I don't need that. I don't have a printer. Dragon, I don't need that. Uh, Ocular, I don't need that. Audio CD, I don't have a DVD or CD player. KD Connect, I don't need that. You get what I'm saying here. Of course, you can get way more ultimate control by installing it the arts way. This is a really, 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 compromise because I can go in here and I can say I don't want the Endeavor OS app. So what I'm getting right now is a untainted Arch Linux install. I am getting or I can if I if I'm taking if I take away let, let's just take away no or KDE. Let's just install the pay base system. See you get the the uh, the uh, Free software drive, GPU drivers, network packages. What the base Dell plus common packages is doing is that it's installing the most common things that everyone is going to install anyway by installing Arts the Linux the Arts way. So instead of me having to go in there and be like bloop, 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 in the terminal and feel like a fucking massive beast, you know, that's I'm Ronnie Coleman of Linux because I know how to copy paste things into a terminal or reader or you know, I know how to type into a terminal what an instruction is telling me. I can just sit at home and I can just point and click what I want. You know, if I don't have an Intel, so I can take away the Intel Unicode. Unicode. I don't need that because I don't have an uh, Intel CP. This customizability is the same, or I will say close to the same that you get with installing arts this way. The, uh, the way that Endeavor OS is using the Calamaris installer is making it less and less scary. It's more convenient because you have a desktop here. So if there's something you, you're wondering about or worried about, you can go on here and you can Google it right here. It gives you the best of two worlds. It gives you almost the same customizability 
as installing the uh, Arch Linux the Arch way. But like I said, you already have a desktop. You can just point and click. You can, you know, by having a desktop, you can go in and, and use Google and all of these resources to help you do what you want to, or to, to help you make the selection. So let's let's try and install this here. Let's see by system default here that, that we need those. X, uh, is there anything here else I can take away? Uh, I could take um, I could take wireless support away because I don't have a wireless on my uh, computer. I could take that away if I want to. Let's just click next. Let's just make a user account. What we have efficiently done is we have done most of the things that they want you to do here in, in installing Arts the Arts way. We have just done it faster than you can do it here. Of course, if I have not talked all over this place here for like nine minutes already <laughs> and making a fool out of myself, but you could have done this, what we did right here to get a basic TUR, I, I know, sorry, basic uh, command line install of Arts. I, I am sure you can do that faster in here than following this instruction here. It set up the locals for us, it set up the keyboard for us, it's made a user account, it's formatting and setting up the hard disk for us, it's installing the basic what we need of, of arts to get arts up and running, it's doing that automatically for us. Right now we should get, hopefully, <laughs> if I've done it right, we should boot in to a CLI arts installed with no Endeavor OS specific programs or software in there. So basically, we will get the same outcome if you have done all of this yourself. I am at the same point I would have been been at if I installed Arts Linux the Arts way, following the instructions, typing everything in the terminal by myself. I am exactly at the same point where here I just used Calamari's and I just used basically toggle on and off things that I wanted and don't, didn't want. I have, I don't have Xorg in here. I don't use, no, it's not in here. I am at the same point you would have, you would be if you install Arts Linux the Arts way. And now you can go in and customize Arts Linux as you want, because what we have right here right now is Arts Linux. The only difference is that I did not have to read the Arts Wiki. I did not have to type in, you know, make, you know, all these kind of crazy things here. And, and, and spend a lot of time remembering, oh, did I put a, a, a forward slash the right way? Did I put, you know, did I hyphenate a, a letter? I should not hyphenate. And all of these worries and pitfalls that you will do in the beginning, they are out of, out of the way. This is by far the best way to get vanilla arts installed. See you all later. Bye bye.